Welcome to Business Showcase. I'm Reggie Richards, and today I'm in Hogansville at a treasure of a place. If you love barbecue, you're going to love where we're at. Rogers Barbecue, and this is the owner, Randy. Hello. We uh, welcome everybody to Rogers Barbecue. Y'all come see us anytime, and uh, we have a great friendly staff and ready to, and uh, excited about y'all coming to eat with us. I am so excited to be here because I get to try the barbecue and get in the kitchen and even maybe wait on a few people, but I'm going to find out what makes Rogers Barbecue so good. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Business Showcase. It's easy to get lost in today's fast-paced world and overlook the small businesses around us. Our neighbors and loved ones who provide more than just service. They build communities. Thank you for joining us as we take a closer look into their world here on Business Showcase on Mountain Vision Channel 17. Welcome back to Business Showcase and let me tell you I am in the pit. Is that what, I don't know if you call it that, Randy, but we're at Rogers Barbecue in Hogansville, and I can already smell the barbecue and everything getting to go here because we're right before lunch hour. And so before the crowd hits, Randy and I are going to talk a little bit about what this business means to you, how it was established, the history of Rogers Barbecue, because it has a really interesting history. Now, you were telling me that the original owner, Mr. Rogers, mm -hmm. um, built this place. Start from there. I know that was a great story. Yes. The uh, Rogers Barbecue originally started in 1945, and as you pointed out earlier, that was the, the year World War II ended. Absolutely, so a big that, year that for was our country. That was a big year, exactly. And so Rogers, uh, Mr. Rogers started the restaurant in West Point, and then later in 1985, my brother bought the Rogers Barbecue, and uh, Mr. Rogers taught him how to do everything, all the traditional way, how to put the hounds in the pit, uh, how to make the stew, the sauce, the whole, uh, ins and outs of the barbecue business and so in 1999 then my brother Eddie um, opened the restaurant here in Hogansville and so I bought it from him learned from Eddie how to do everything the traditional way uh, from scratch stew and everything wow Randy do you have a history in of working in the restaurant business no particular background in, in uh, cooking or kitchen, also, uh, but I've had uh, a lot of family members in the restaurant business ah, okay. and, and uh, a lot of uh, so good cooks it, in the family. Yeah, but I mean, I can tell you're pretty comfortable with your business. So it lets, you know, when I met Randy and we were talking on the phone and getting ready for this program, uh, I could tell right away he was very passionate about what he does. He's very concerned about his product. And when you walk through the doors, you immediately get a sense of that. When you meet his staff, everything is just a-okay with me and I'm pretty picky so the country has a history of barbecue barbecue is a traditionally an American meal right. so what do you think about your barbecue that keeps that reputation going keeps people coming back well we try to keep things consistent from the sauce how we make the sauce every time the hams they go in the pit and stay on about 16 18 hours uh, when we, when we're cooking why those. so long so we cook them real slow so they so they stay nice and tender and, uh, and just come off where it almost melts in your mouth. And uh, we, we put hickory and pecan wood on the pit to, uh, for the smoke and oh. keep the, the temp uh, just perfect to uh, make some nice barbecue. Well, you know, I've heard of barbecue contests, the best of barbecues. They do voters' choices or, you know, readers' choice awards on the best barbecues around. You know, and I, I don't know. I mean, I seem to fall back into something. There's mustard-based barbecues. Yeah. There's, um, you know, tomato-based barbecue. Describe some of your barbecues. Do you have for a variety? The original barbecue sauce is uh, mild mustard, is the way I describe it. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's kind of like our classic sauce. And then we have another sauce, it's a sweet and tangy sauce that we use it on, on our ribs, which are outstanding. So they can have a choice yeah, when they, they come They're choice. not going to just get one of that. Because, right. I mean, I've gone to places where there's barbecue and everything is that, whether mustard base or whatever base. And right. you're like, okay, well, maybe I don't like that, you know, but maybe I want to try something else. But yeah. um, when you put those hams on, do you do a glaze on that too? Or we is don't it? glaze those. We That's leave the skin on the outside mm -hmm. of the ham, and so it kind of locks in the tenderness. Uh, while, while they're while they're cooking, and you still get that smoky <laughs> flavor too. Wait, so. and you said you use hickory and what else? Hickory and pecan wood. Why? Yeah. Well, is that what makes it smell so good? Yeah, it, the combination of those two, I think, is really good. Any kind of fruit wood is always good uh, to cook with. So that's the reason why we add the pecan. And hickory is always a classic uh, way to smoke, especially in, in this area in, in the southeast. And that's so. probably what Mr. Rogers trained your brother for, that's and right. he trained you for to understand all of those 
sci the science of barbecue. And we're going to get into the kitchen, and Randy's going to let me see a little bit of the recipes going on. He's not going to give anything away, but hey, <laughs> I do get to get a feel for the business, which I think the restaurant business is a tough business. There's a lot of details with, uh, with the restaurant business, and the main thing is we want to focus on the customer. And so what the customer is looking for, what they're uh, wanting, we, we really try to try to meet that. So we'll, we'll even change our menu sometimes if the customer is asking for certain things. So a lot of it really just, it really starts with the customer. Now you're right off the Interstate 85. It's the main uh, thoroughfare from Atlanta mm -hmm. to a lot of the rural areas in this area. I mean, smaller town, small town America is everywhere around you. And then, you know, the big city's just right up the road. So it's real easy to find this place, but it just has so much ambience, so much character, and it reflects everything about a good barbecue place oh, yeah. and then some. So you trust me in the kitchen? Okay, I do. One, sure? one thing you said about being right off the interstate, and we're so close to Atlanta, we have a lot of local and regular customers, but we also have a lot of repeat business from people that are traveling. So every time they come down the road, they want to come and eat with us. That makes perfect yeah. sense to me. And like I said to you, I've been up and down this highway so many times and I didn't know you were here and now that I do I'm gonna be a repeat customer I know that so take me to the kitchen you said you trusted me right okay I'm gonna meet it. everybody back there so I've been invited into the kitchen and I am gonna get to work a little bit um, on the preparation of some of the foods that they serve here at Rogers barbecue and I'm pretty excited about it that Randy's even allowed me back here gloves on introduce your staff member right here this is Michelle and she's our kitchen manager and she's been here for a long time and she knows everything there is to do in the kitchen All right, and, uh, she's you, an expert. One of the things that you told me about too, of course, you know, you advertise ribs, mm -hmm. chicken, and stew, stew, stew. And one, one other thing that we'll show you in a little while is catfish. We, so we sell a lot of pond raised I, catfish. Uh, I love catfish. And uh, we, we have a lot of customers that come just for the catfish and, uh, and the ribs that you're going to see right here on our grill. Yep. Barbecue sandwiches? Popular All the too? time. Oh, All right. yeah. Yep. All right. So right now what Michelle's working on are ribs, and she's going to, I guess she's going to show me what she does to get the ribs ready. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Everything looks so hot over here. Oh, yeah. You, okay, this is a full slab of ribs right here. Uh-huh. How, how hot is the temperature on this? It's like uh, 700. Yeah, it, 700? It's, yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's just short of 700, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I could get supper quick, quick if I had it grill at 700 <laughs> degrees. All right, Michelle, when, when she's doing this and she's getting this ready, so a customer orders a slab of ribs and they're done in eight minutes. And they and do you add sauce on the grill? That's what she's getting ready to do. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. What, what we do is we first uh, parboil them to Let make them that. nice and tender, and then we bring them to the grill, let them smoke, and get them really nice and hot. And then we dip them in the sauce. The sauce on the back stays very warm, uh -huh. and so it sticks to the ribs, and it makes a real nice coating on top of the ribs. Yeah. Melt yeah. in your mouth. So the ribs how are ready to fall around, apart. I don't know how she works on this. You're underappreciated. This hot. <laughs> it is hot back here. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is dip it in that I'm sauce. Gonna step up. I'm going to step up. Okay. Okay. Just one big dip. Uh huh. One big dip. There we go. Oh my. And then back to the grill. Okay. Oh, you can go. have that job. <laughs> I just want to eat it. Michelle, that's awesome. God. When you think about the restaurant business, especially good, successful restaurant business, you don't really know um, how hard even the people from your servers out there to your people in the kitchen work managing the situation on this and still getting putting out a great product. Um, I have a bigger appreciation for it already just standing here by yeah. Michelle for a few minutes. Absolutely. Now, she, uh, you were telling me that that sauce is uh, your special sauce. It is. It's not it, the original sauce, but it's one that was developed later on, and that one is the one that's the sweet and tangy, and some people love that. They'll, they'll order a little extra side of it sometimes, and, that, and if they don't eat it all, they take it and eat it with a spoon. So it, it's uh, good. One of the other things I noticed that you make homemade, and I know we're going to do the catfish in just a little bit, but banana pudding. Banana pudding. I mean, I've yeah. been eyeballing the pudding. I, know, I mean, I love banana pudding, and you have... Fresh cobblers? Yes, also. we do also do peach cobblers, which we cater a lot with the peach cobbler, sometimes banana pudding, but um, both of those are our original recipes and homemade mm -hmm. yeah, from so, scratch. Oh my so. gosh, that's incredible. All right, so I see here that you must have a takeout place. We do. We do a lot of takeout, and uh, people come and they get anything on our menu to take out. 
And so they call it in and we'll have it ready for them when they get here or they come walk in and we'll get it for them as quick as we can. That's amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, it, people can call in to get it. They can come sit down and eat. What are your hours? We open Monday through Thursday from 11 o'clock till 9 o'clock and Friday and Saturday from 11 till 10 o'clock. So we stay a little, op uh, a little bit longer open on Friday and Saturday, but we're closed on Sunday. All right. So if I wanted to call in an order, I could do that ahead of the at opening time sure. so it could be ready? Yep. And uh, we have also have uh, lunch specials we start up at 11 o'clock every day, Monday through Friday as well, where we have a country lunch, a mm -hmm. couple meats that you can choose from, a bunch of vegetables, all kinds of great stuff, and um, cornbreads and rolls and you know a lot, what, lot uh, of variety of different things. Country fried steak is probably our uh, staple that people really, really love. So we needs, have country fried steak every day. Yeah. Can I have <laughs> a little bit of all of that <laughs> to tell yeah, you? Yeah. You know, Michelle, there's always something you can tell about a woman in the kitchen and a product, right? We don't always like to share our kitchens with everybody, especially somebody right. knows what they're doing in their kitchen, they're getting space. So thank you for letting me get into You're your welcome. space for a little bit and, and getting to explain that. And I mean, I would spend more time with you. Really, I, w I would. I know it's hot back there, but I would spend more time with her. And she's going to show me a little bit about catfish in just a little bit. And we're going to talk about uh, some of the pies and the things we're doing to get everything ready by the lunch hour. She's got a tough job. What time do you usually get here? I get in at 9 a.m. And you start cooking yes, right away. Do you like to cook when you get home? I love it. Oh, she's the kind of girl. I love it. <laughs> and you do the catering, too. So does she yes. have to get all that ready? She helps a lot. Yes. Tremendous. I really uh, rely on her big time yes. uh, for catering stuff. So she, she and I work together yeah. as a good team uh, to so get that done. How, how, how big a catering do you do? How much notice yeah. do yeah, they catering, need? And uh, everything I, on your menu available for catering? Yep, anything on the menu is, uh, is available. I have done some things that's not even on the menu, too, for catering. So we cater for weddings, any kind of business uh, event, or like lunchers, lunchings or dinners, mm -hmm. or like uh, celebrations, those kind of things, or family reunions, weddings, uh, birthday parties, a lot of different uh, events we cater for. We're going to do catfish now, and I'm sure Michelle's going to help me get a fresh pair of gloves and get ready for that. Customers are getting ready to roll in. So we're on a countdown. Literally, we've got to get moving. Um, because it's time for lunch and you know I want to eat as well as help so I'm, I'm in big trouble <laughs> stay with us on business showcase we'll be right back Explore the wonderful world of illumination and the artful world of home decoration at Light Styles and the Frugal Frog in LaGrange. Light Styles can fill every lighting need under the sun, from chandeliers to pathway lighting, large or small homes, even commercial lighting, contemporary and traditional, and in between. Light Styles has it all, indoors and out. Also visit our home decor consignment shop, the Frugal Frog, exclusive reclaimed and handcrafted furniture, along with exceptional specialty decorative items. Light Styles and the Frugal Frog, 216 Commerce Avenue in LaGrange. Camping, an excellent family adventure and a great way to escape the daily grind. At Pine Mountain RV Resort, we provide a variety of camping experiences for the seasoned tent campers to the RVers and the yurt campers. Cabins big and small, roughing it or camping with creature comforts, including pool and Wi-Fi too. We have it all at Pine Mountain RV Resort on Highway 27, just south of LaGrange. Visit us online at rvcoutdoors.com or call us at 706-663-432. Two nine. Beckham's Pharmacy, your Health Mart pharmacy in Manchester, is more than just a drugstore. Beckham's is your hometown pharmacy offering genuine hometown care and concern. And you can always rest easy with pharmacists you have trusted and known for years. Carefully fill prescriptions in just minutes, not hours. Easy to find items without all the walking. Beckham's Pharmacy in Manchester, caring for you and about you. Welcome to Sense and Styles. Come on in. Come complete your look at Sense and Styles Boutique. We have a full line of designer fragrances, men and women's shoes, formal wear, church wear, fashion scarves, fashion jewelry, 1003 Hogansville Road, Sweet J, LaGrange, Georgia, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Unique Boutique. Thanks for shopping at Sense and Styles. Bye-bye. Tell your life story in style with Pandora and their unique collection of charm bracelet jewelry. Each gold and silver charm represents a moment to remember, like a birthday, anniversary, or just a special day with your daughter. As a preferred Pandora dealer, Taylor Foster is bringing the craftsmanship, 
beauty, and most importantly, fun of this unique jewelry to everyone. Life has its moments. Make them unforgettable with Pandora from Taylor Foster, your master IJO jeweler. All right, Michelle, tell me about this critter that I'm holding. Okay, this is our fresh um, pond raised. What does that mean, pond raised? Um, pond raised mean it is raised in. Where in else your would own? you raise a catfish? <laughs> yes, you were raised it in a pond. <laughs> In a, it river, is in, in, in a river, river or a stream, uh, or they would come yes. from China. These are all U.S. pond raised catfish. Right. Okay. So are they boneless? No, these are I actually. Can, these I can have feel the bones. bones in. What's yes. the, why? Why do you get the bone versus the not boneless? Um, I mean, well, actually, there, we do have filet catfish. Do you too? Also okay. Without the bones. All right. So why do customers choose between them? What's the difference um, for them? Well, maybe they just don't want to deal with the bone being inside the. Catfish. Well, it's pretty meaty. I can I can feel it. Oh like yes. That. So this is a personal preference. A lot of yeah. the uh, a lot of the older people sometimes they want to get the ones with no bones because they don't want to fuss with. There were children. Yeah. Yeah. The kids, yeah. 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 Right. So this is a cornmeal mix. Yes. What's in this? Can we tell? Is it a secret recipe? Uh, <laughs> I think it's a secret. Cornmeal and flour, and I won't say. And all right. Some right. other goodies. <laughs> I'll get it off camera. And all some right. other goodies. All right. So you do a pretty good flouring. Yes, you want to base. You okay. spend some time in here, I'm noticing. Yes. Okay, is mine good and flowered? Yes. Then we go take and How do you know it? if I missed anything? Um, I don't think you have. Just shake just a little bit of it off. Did I shake too much? No, that's fine. I don't have my glasses on to make sure. That's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> We're going to walk over here to the fryer. All right. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just drop it or lay it? Just drop it. Just lay it. Yeah, you There we go. Am I good? And it's going to cook for 12 minutes. All right, so how many of those do you do at a time? Um, I can put Are you go by order, by yeah, customer? By order. Customer yes, order, okay. Order. Yes, so if you get like 10 orders of catfish, you've got more baskets dropping. Oh, yes, ma'am. So all the oil's ready to go. It's ready hot. Ready to go. And what kind of oil are they, are they fried in? Um, this is Crisco oil. Oh, yeah, that's the best, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. You should know that. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got the catfish going, and they can order some of that yummy coleslaw we looked yes, at with that to go. Usually that's the plate that comes with the catfish. Yeah, they get catfish, you get um, my fresh-made coleslaw, fries, and hush puppies. Oh, when you're talking about fresh-made coleslaw, what do you mean? What do yes. you do? What do you, what's your, shred cabbage. I'm trying to get another recipe. Uh, we shred our cabbage and our carrots. How do you do all of this at starting at 9 o'clock in the morning? You come in and shred your cabbage? Well, actually, I have a prep person that comes in to help me. So uh -huh. I'm doing all the cooking. He's doing most of the prep. Ah, got it. So right now, we've got the ribs on the grill. we got catfish going. She just put something that smells really good over there on the oven. Uh, those are There's some chocolate brownies and peanut butter cookies. <laughs> so I'm losing my mind in here. <laughs> and in that big pot boiling down there, it looks like a... Those are half chicken. But you know what that pot looks like to me? It looks like something you see off of a cartoon when they're cooking something really oh, yes. good. <laughs> but it smells delicious, right? Smells. So you've got to actually run back and forth between all these and manage yes. it. And probably your reputation is getting the food out in time and yes. still tasting good. So what's a turnaround? You said 12 minutes for this. So from yes, the time it gets ordered, it gets on their plate to them is what, about 15 minutes maybe? Yes, ma'am. That's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Well, Randy, you know I've always been famous for stirring the pot. Yeah. And now I actually get to stir the pot. It's a pot full of chicken, and that broth looks awesome. What happens next with this yeah. pot full of chicken? What we do is we put our, our chicken in here, and we boil it so it stays nice and tender, and then we put it on the, on the uh, grill later on when it's time to serve it. So that's how we do the chicken and the ribs, and uh, the way we make, make sure it stays nice and moist. Why do we stir it? We, I mean, we stir it so that we don't have some of it cook, getting cooked uh, before other parts of it is not. So we want to make sure that all the chicken is cooked evenly. Is this a, a witch's cattle? Or? Yeah, we have a lot of fun with that because I have to teach everybody that comes over here how, how to do this. And oh, you have to do me? this right here and you got to make the witch noise. you got to go like... <laughs> <laughs> so we, oh, let me see if so, I can do so that. So to be able to cook, you got to do that. All right. <laughs> so you're going to be a good cook. I, I can tell, yeah. 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 She got it. She, well, got it. she didn't need a lot of training either. Michelle and I have heard, <laughs> we heard that yeah. skinny girls don't make good cooks, but we know that's not true, right? That's absolutely, positively not true. Uh, absolutely, because I know what I'm doing with this paddle now. All right, let me get dig down in here, and you tell me what to do next to okay, get this out. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. We're, gonna, we're fixing to take the chicken out. Now. All right, where does the paddle go? Okay, right here. Is that what it's called, the paddle? Yeah, we'll sit it right here. <laughs> All right, how do you take it out? Okay. We're going to take it out with some big tones. So all of this chicken now that's cooked thoroughly is going to go over to 
but we're going to let it cool off, and All that right. way it's prepped and ready for when a uh, customer orders it. Then we, uh, then what we'll, do you do with all that broth? It. We save it oh for, my gosh, for, like, awesome. for dressing. Yeah, I mean, goodness gracious, that's some great-looking broth right here. Dumplings? Oh, yeah, um, and chicken and dumplings. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we if make you don't chicken feel and dumplings well, for the lunch special on, on, uh, on Monday. You're kidding me. You've got yeah. dumplings on Mondays? Chicken and dumplings on Monday. Chicken and for, dumplings for on Monday. Special. And when is your ham special? The hams, we do uh, barbecue, uh, of course, every day. But we have, like, whole hams you can buy anytime. If you're having a picnic or, like, for Thanksgiving uh -huh. or Christmas, you right. can order whole hams and whole turkeys. Right. We also have a, um, a menu for uh, casseroles, too. So we have, like, a... Uh, like broccoli casserole, green bean, green bean casserole, oh squash gosh. casseroles, and uh, poppy seed chicken, which has been a uh, favorite too. And uh, I, I sometimes do banquets and things and cater with the poppy seed chicken as well. So I want to know more about it, the poppy seed chicken. Yeah, and all of those things uh, come come frozen, and so you can take it home and uh, and put it in the oven whenever you're ready for it. Well, so that's all part of your catering side of the business. You got yeah. takeout, you got catering. You've got walk-in service, and I hear tell that one of your favorite customers has come in today. They did, yeah. I get yeah. to meet them. They come to eat with us two or three times a week, okay. and they drive all the way from Newton. So I tell people all the time that when they come to eat at Rogers, it's worth the drive no matter where they come from. And so we, like I said earlier, we have customers that come from all over, all over the United States. Actually, when they travel, they, they make it part of their stop uh, to come in here. Well, it's not so hard, we are it's not we are truly a world famous uh, Rogers Barbecue because we have international customers as well. Well, I can tell you from the little bit of time I've gotten to spend here with you, Michelle, and the staff that they've been awesome. I feel like it's all comfort food. I mean, I'm hungry, but I also feel, um, you know, like uh, I'm at home. Oh, you are. We like try to make sure everybody feels that way. And uh, if you get to know some of our customers, your then kitchen, you'll, you'll understand that. <laughs> your kitchen's yeah. a very comfortable place. It's a good place to be. And I know that, I mean, anytime you can um, get somebody like Michelle working back here and the way she does things. I mean, we had to let her go because she had customers coming in to get up and get back to the, uh, the cooking on that end of the kitchen. But we're going we're gonna to head out to the, uh, to the uh, restaurant okay. uh, area, and we're going to enjoy some of this food and meet some of the customers. That sounds good. All right. Okay. We'll be right back Thank with you. more Business Showcase. Oh no, I broke my heel. These are my favorite pair and I'll never find another pair like them. The same thing happened to me and I took them to Four Shoe Repair. They can repair broken heels? Miss Judy at Four Shoe Repair can repair and resole refurbish any shoe or boot. Really? I love my boots, but they have holes in the soles. Four Shoe Repair can help keep my favorite shoes looking good and last longer? Why get rid of expensive shoes when Four Shoe Repair make them all look like new? How do I get there? They're at 1003 Hogansville Road in LaGrange or call 706-884-4 Hi, welcome to Sense and Styles. Come on in. Come complete your look at Sense and Styles Boutique. We have a full line of designer fragrances, men and women's shoes, formal wear, church wear, fashion scarves, fashion jewelry, 1003 Hogansville Road, Sweet J, LaGrange, Georgia, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Unique Boutique. Thanks for shopping at Sister Styles. Bye-bye. If you are a business owner, please listen to the following. Employees who use drugs are five times more likely to file workers' compensation. 10 to 20% of workers who die on the job test positive for alcohol or drugs. The highest rate of drug use has been reported in construction, food preparation, and waiters or waitresses. Find out how you can protect your business and staff from accidents caused by drug-induced employees. Call Drug Free Works for complete details or visit drugfreeworks.com. When you want a different look, change your looks with natural human hair from Sun Fashion in Manchester. Human hair track just don't feel like human hair. It's real human hair. Comes in a variety of colors and lengths to fit your personality and lifestyle. You can wash it, dry it, comb it, style it to get the look you want when you want it. We also carry a wide selection of premium quality human hair and assorted colors and lengths as well. Sun Fashion carries a large selection of beauty accessories to fit any personality or budget. So stop in Sun Fashion today and speak with one of our beauty consultants. Sun Fashion, 123 West Main Street in downtown Manchester. I do believe it's time for a barbecue. <laughs> <There you laughs> Rogers go. barbecue, that's good. Yep. 
And when uh, I was stirring the pot, I was thinking about that. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, really, I was. Yeah. I, I like. I love that movie, but I love fried green tomatoes. It's oh, one yeah. of my favorite. Mm -hmm. And you didn't tell me about it, so it's, it's not too late to order some. It's so not too please, late. We'll, we'll do it. Great yeah, place. We'll do it. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, so I mean, the menu is full. You worked on it. You designed it. I mean, you take the time to really think about what your customers ask for, what they come yeah. back for. Right. And, one of, and an example of that is uh, we had a lot of people wanting to know about brisket, so we started doing some. Uh, brisket where people ask for it that we could uh, have it and so uh, over time I added it to the menu because I had so many people asking for it so it's been a success too we we take the sliced brisket or shredded brisket and we put put the sweet and tangy sauce on it and uh, it, it's really really good it's one of mm. my favorites here now too so. now your hours yeah. again yeah on Monday uh, through Friday I'm sorry yeah Monday through Thursday we open from 11 to 9 Friday and Saturday we open from 11 till 10 and remember, we're in Hogansville, right off the uh, interstate, off of exit 28 in Hogansville. There's only one exit to Hogansville, right? Only one exit. So you can't yeah. miss that. Yeah. And we're right behind the Chevron, and uh, you'll see the wagon as you pull up. Yeah, we got yeah. to sit in the yeah. wagon for a little mm -hmm. bit today. I, I had fun with that. I mean, I wanted my picture in the wagon. Yeah, a lot of people do that. If they're traveling through, they'll they'll put your kids up well, there. Absolutely, and, and stand it's an out establishment there. of your trip, your time, your travels. You really need those kind of landmarks to do that, and it yeah. is a landmark. And it oh, seems yeah. to me like what I've learned that this is a family uh, oriented business. It's uh, family friendly. Sure. It's absolutely. southern tradition. That's it. And the location is really services a lot of different demographics. You have people that are yes. locals that come, that drive from other counties that come, and other states. That's you right. You said you're world known. That's true. So you yeah. are on Facebook, right? We are on Facebook. And how yeah. do they friend you on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, find us on Facebook. We'll be under Rogers uh, Pit Cook Barbecue Hogansville, and it should be facebook.com slash Rogers BBQ. I noticed on your menu, though, when we were um, waiting for our drinks and things, that it, you have a children's menu? We do. It's a full children's menu, and I have some items on there that kids can sample things and start to enjoy at a younger age, like the catfish and... Um, the ribs and the barbecue so they get a real good sample of what we do here plus all the normal stuff like chicken nuggets and chicken tenders that all kids like and hot dogs but we have something for for all the kids too and uh, one one thing that might be unusual for us here at rogers is we try to cater a little bit to some people who might be vegetarian and so if they come in with some with that's uh, unusual not everybody thinks yeah, of them like that that's it's right like, go to the salad menu sorry yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so if somebody comes in here that uh, wants to uh, come with their family and they everybody likes barbecue but you know one or two of them might be vegetarian we do have a veggie burger that i think um people would enjoy and i like the veggie burgers too sometimes that uh, it's, it's, a, to it's a spicy meat? black bean uh, veggie burger so it's it's really nice the other thing we added too recently in, in uh, back in march was um, wings we've always had barbecue wings mm -hmm. but now we have um, buffalo wings teriyaki wings and lemon pepper so oh teriyaki oh food's here yeah. hey look who's I bringing this okay, that would I'll be him <laughs> Okay, I have a two piece filet with fries, coleslaw, and hush That's me. Thank you. Okay, I got special delivery. All the way from the kitchen. Special <laughs> Thank delivery. you, Michelle. Special delivery. I couldn't help but say that either. That's from, Mr. That's from Mr. Rogers. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Mr. Rogers would come up somewhere and all this. I knew that was going to happen, didn't yeah. you? And the room that we're in now mm -hmm. is a, a patio room. Now, we have this room set aside for parties and for overflow when, when uh, the larger dining room won't handle everybody. But this room is, will hold about 35 to 40 people. And so if you're having like a birthday party or a shower or oh, e or a Sunday school right. class uh, party or family party. Now, what time are you open on Sunday? Well, we're closed Sunday. Okay, yeah, well, we're excellent. Closed Sunday. All right. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good room for people to, to use like that. So. We can go to yeah, your website. I do have a website. It's rogersbbq.com. Uh, and so they can look at all your menu there. Yes. And they could actually communicate with you there, they too. Also, yeah. All right, so they have the email and everything there. And uh, check them out also on Facebook. Make sure you friend them. But most importantly, come by and try their product. Meet all their friend, family-friendly folks. You're going to really enjoy yourself. I have today. And I did get a little sneak preview on some of the food. But I can guarantee you, it's excellent. Y'all come see us at Rogers Barbecue in Hogansville. To have your business featured on Business Showcase, call us at 706-846-3016.